Welcome to beginning guitar chapter lesson six. Today we're going to add the B7 chord that will allow us then to play in the key of E most of the songs that we care to play. All right, let's take a look at this now that you're focused on my left hand. As we know, this is the E chord. And on the E chord, I play all of the notes with my right hand. And again, keeping that right hand going is so important. It is the most important part of learning to become a guitar player. Now on the B7, I'm gonna drop my third finger one string down and lift my pointer finger one string up. I'm reversing them to a B7. I'm not gonna strike this low note on the B7, everything from the A down. Now to get back to the E chord, I simply lift the third up a string and put the first down a string onto the G string. Again, reverse them to the B7. Third finger down to the G, pointer finger up to the D. Not hitting the low string. Reverse them back to the E. And we know how to go to the A chord. I take the first finger off, I drop two and put it over the top. As such, and these are the three chords that go together. Lift, put the pointer back down so that we can play songs in the key of E. All right, looking at both hands again, let's take a look at this exercise in chapter six with the B seventh chord, starting with E. Reverse my fingers to B7th, not hitting the low string. Reverse them back to the E chord. Take the pointer off and drop down two to the A chord. The first finger coming up over the top on the D string. Pointer off, lift two. Put that pointer finger back down on the G string. Reverse them to the B7th, third down, first finger up, stay off the low note. And let's put them back to the E chord. Let's go to that A chord. Drop two and put the pointer over the top. Let's go back to that E chord, pointer off, lift two, put the pointer back down into the G string, first fret. Let's reverse these down to a B seventh. Back to the E chord and... Picking. 